Today I'm going to overcome my fear of electrons and I'm going to install a battery monitor that a bunch of you have told me I needed to install. So hang around if you would like to see how it's installed on our Pleasure Way Ascent. First I want to say thank you to one of my viewers who actually posted a video on how to do this because I've been telling him I'm waiting until he shows me how to do it because I'm so intimidated to uh, to do things like this. So here's what is in the box. It's the Vitron battery monitor BMV712, which is a Bluetooth enabled device. So it allows you to check all of the information about your battery on your smartphone. This is the actual monitor. Apparently there are, you can install this in a couple of different ways. We're actually gonna leave it just in the same compartment as the batteries, but apparently, depending on the thickness you're going through, you can screw it on this way or you can screw it on this way. This is the shunt and all the wiring is made to this device. And they've labeled it pretty well. The load and charger, and this is the battery side. And this is where the power cord comes in. They give you two of these power cables because theoretically you can hook one, obviously we're gonna do it to our lithium batteries, but the other one can be hooked up to your chassis battery although the wire would have to be a lot longer than that, unless I don't know what I'm doing, which is also true. And then this is the data wire, and the data wire, uh, one end goes into this, and then the other end goes into the, um, the actual monitor. But we won't need all that, that much wire because we're gonna leave it in the battery compartment itself. And they do include a quick installation guide, although I just don't know much about electronics, so neither one of these is terribly helpful. What I need is pictures and video, which is why I'm relying on Doug and his video to help me out. This video probably needs a disclaimer. I am not an electrician. I don't know anything about electrical stuff. Uh, just eno enough to be really dangerous. So, so watch this understanding that I make lots of mistakes in here and all you electricians out there can list them all in the comments below so that other people don't make the mistakes I did. Anyway, I just wanted to say that before we get into this project. I will link his video below and you can watch that. I've also watched a bunch of other videos on how to install these because they're everywhere, but until Doug had done his video, no one had done it on the Pleasure Way and uh, with the lithium batteries. So I needed someone to, you know, show me exactly what I needed to do. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is turn off the batteries. And I don't, I mean, I'm just gonna turn off everything I think has anything to do with the batteries. So I'm gonna turn off this battery switch. So turn that to off. And the next thing is to turn off or do the battery disconnect here. So there. And as I've mentioned before, there's, there's a decorative panel that goes in front of here, but I removed that just to gain this extra storage. So now I'll open up the battery compartment to hook this. Doug put his up here, and that probably is the best spot for it. I made myself up a drawing and then and drew on it so I know exactly what goes where. And my brother says that 12 volts won't kill me. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole. I've never used one of these suckers before. They also don't include any screws, so found a couple of screws that'll work. I 
Okay, that's a little crooked. <laughs> but I don't think it matters. <laughs> you guys won't tell, right? <laughs> don't tell anybody it's crooked. Let me see what happens now. I'll go like that. Okay, it's 14 millimeter. Clearly the hardest part is this wire here is now behind here and hooked here. But you really have to put this on and then find a spot to put this. So I'm going to give that a try. See if I can screw it in now. Mm. This time I'll get a little straighter than last time. So here are the two negative lines. I've got to rebend those suckers, and they go over here. So let's see if we can get that going. sure this nut's going to be long enough with both of these wires on there. Sometimes you have to use a bus. But he got it on. Ouch. Don't know exactly how. <laughs> I'm going to take the negatives off and see if it's easier to do it the other way around. <sighs> no! And just like Doug discovered, the only way I could get these wires on here was to remove the, the uh, shunt. Because it was, wow, what a struggle. The nut, it's like it's not quite long enough and I couldn't use one of these washers. I had to remove the washer as well. Okay, so that's on there now. Now, now to get the two negative wires back on the batteries. So at this point in the video, I was getting very frustrated because those wires are incredibly stiff and they just were not going where I wanted them to go. So I decided after about 10 takes and not being successful in getting the shunt back mounted in that box, it's a very small area you're working on, I decided to stop and have lunch and to kind of think about it. And fortunately, my neighbor came home. And uh, we discussed it and decided that the best place to mount the, the shunt was actually on the bottom of the box. And I just needed to cut a little piece of wood because the wire that I ordered was really a little too short. I should have gotten a longer one. Um, but uh, if I added a little piece of wood, then I'd have enough space to be able to get the uh, shunt attached and all of the wires back reattached. Oh my gosh. Uh, there we go. Got on the wrong side of the board. It's a good thing I checked. Okay, now this one is going to go right up there. Telling me I'm second, fine, but I'm second. afraid. Before you do it, remove your wrench off of that. Oh. It gives you more space to remove it. put your knuckle. In. Okay. There you go. And then put this on there. Yep. Don't make a noise, you guys. You're Don't not very nice. Out. You're not very nice. Okay, yeah. now I'm gonna put this on. Okay. And give me the other um the 14 millimeter. There it is. Make this on. Man, that was quite a spark. Yeah, it would be. No, that's called an arc. Okay, that was an arc. <laughs> I got a spark. I got an arc. You know, yeah. this is why you don't. This is. Uh oh, arc. this is why you don't do projects with your, <laughs> with your spousal unit. No, spousal unit. 
That's what he is. He's a powerful he's, human. He's a comedy. He is. And I don't want to touch that red thing to this thing, right? Absolutely not. That should. I should have tape over that sucker. You just should be careful. What? <laughs> zip ties? Oh, yeah, they're right there. Okay, now that's pretty tight, right? Do it a little bit more. A little bit more, he says. Uh. That's almost there. Now hold on to the wire. Mm. Now tighten it. Uh. Okay, good. Whoa. Now what about, how tight is that other side? I haven't touched that side yet. How tight is it though? I don't know. I have to, I'm going to put a red wire on there, so you are yeah there's this this red power line this one right here no but gets hooked into there sure oh it does yeah no what does it oh it does it has that okay <laughs> more supervision coming yeah i got all the guys out should i the other this side? one now is the other side tight no now push it back though. push the left push push this back like that. Do you like the way I looped it down there? Yeah, I do. That was the only way I could get it to work. Ah, there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to tighten up these black guys. Can I see the wrench real quick? Okay. Hold on. I just, not bad for No, not bad. It's good. Okay. So this guy, I don't know if it matters which one it goes into. I would put that in after you do the top one. The hard thing is when I go over that way. Maybe yeah. I should put one on that. John, Why don't you cut, off a, cut, cut off a couple pieces for me because I'm just, you know. Nervous Nelly. Nervous Nelly. Now I've got everything taped up. Okay, then keep unscrewing this. I can probably do it by hand. Yeah. And just hold up the wire up on the left hand side. Can you hold that wire up on the left hand yeah. side? Oh, I see. Oh, it's just a nut. Okay, good. Yeah. So hold on. Good, good. You good. got it? Yeah. Okay. So that goes on there. That's not going anywhere. And then this goes on here. Okay, good. And then I'll tighten it. Can I make a suggestion? Yes is you take that back off, put that little one in between the two big lugs. And the reason being is when you tighten that up, it'll have a tendency to actually break that little bitty lead. Put it between which two lugs? So you, you want me to take one of those wires off? You're gonna pull the left wire down a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm afraid it'll fall off. It might, it might, but you're protected. Okay, so Remember? I'm gonna go like this. And well, my set, feet aren't on the ground. That's right, and set the nut down. <sighs> Just so, okay. And then put it, take this off? Take that one down. Well, you got a washer right there. Oh, can I, then I, can I just put, no. put it between this and the washer? You could. Because I'm chicken? Uh, it, that washer will cut it. Put oh. it in between the two. Because it's one of the locking uh -huh. uh, washers. So. So pull that one down. Okay. And just put it in between that. Okay. That protects that little. The, I gotcha. There and then go. put this guy back put on. Put the washer on, yeah. And then the nut. Put that guy back on. Okay. You're doing great. There you go. I think you're doing great. <laughs> Does this go... Oh, this just goes up around. It doesn't, Which? I was just wondering if the cover... If you need to have this... Oh, I would put this over that, that way. That way. So away from the ground. The, okay, so it's facing the, po the positive side. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now you're good. Watch, watch. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Too close to the black? Too, too close to the negative. Okay. Thanks. Man, I gotta put a disclaimer on this one. You guys, go hire a professional. Or get divorced now. You push it back and then you shove it in. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay. And then I should probably zip tie this somewhere. Yep. Together. I would zip tie it to the positive side over there. Hey, Brandon's going to do the lawn. Wow. I know.
I guilted it into it. Oh, good. Okie dokie. So can you zip tie these together? Yeah. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Bruce. Yeah, you're on. Uh-oh, I got a cramp in my hand. Oh, no. Oh, oh I hate that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. In there, and this one goes in here. And this guy, I'm just gonna figure out some way to mount him back here. Oops. Really? Yeah, that's what. You're gonna mount the way Doug did. No, he's got his inside. Yeah, most people are. About a big piece of uh, velcro tape or something. Yeah. On that, on that. Yeah. Two-sided foam tape or that. Yeah. Oh, well, it, it, I won't be able to put it on the back because it won't work. But um, I suppose the way to do it is to drill a hole right through the cover here. But that could be some other time. So you're probably wondering, so why would anybody want to install one of these Victron battery monitors? Well, the battery monitor that comes with the rig is really made for AGM and lead acid batteries. It's not made for lithium batteries. And uh, lithium batteries, as you uh, probably a lot of you already know, it kind of it tends to fall off a cliff when it's getting to a point, you know, the voltage drops and then, you, you know, basically you can't use it anymore. And you don't want to run them down beyond 20%. I know a lot of us believe that we could use 100% of the batteries, but everything I read says you don't want to run them below 20%. And as we uh, get closer to installing our compressor refrigerator in the van, it's going to be more important for me to understand how much power we have left available on the batteries. And so uh, that was why I did it. And one of the things I will uh, include in this in the description box is uh, Pleasureway sent me the parameters that you need in order to set the uh so when you download the app for the victron uh, you'll enter your own parameters for kind of batteries you have and so uh thanks pleasure thanks to pleasure way they sent those to me and i will share those with you in the description box below this video so that's all i have this week uh next week we will be packing to get ready uh to hit the road again and uh and then hopefully Depending on how things go in the world, we'll be able to stay on the road for a number of weeks before we have to get back and install the new refrigerator. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you next time. Here's a tip for Pleasure Way or anyone else. Uh, I noticed when I was doing this that it doesn't actually say which direction is off. And I looked in the manual and it doesn't say that either. So at least I couldn't find it. So I just printed off a little label, you know, cause I'm electronically challenged <laughs> and I'm gonna put off right there.